Hi everybody, I'm back again. Um, so since I had the day off and some time, um, and because I'm leaving for Minnesota tomorrow, I just wanted to get a lot of filming in today. Um, so I thought I'd come on and talk about um, a what's in my makeup bag video. Um, I really like watching these. I really enjoy seeing how people streamline their makeup and their beauty products that go on a trip, whether it's just a long weekend to, you know, a week somewhere. Really cool. So just thought I'd come on here and talk about what I would bring on a trip. So I'm leaving for tomorrow and then we're coming back on Sunday. So it's just going to be three days, two nights sort of trip. We're visiting family, so um, really don't have to worry about carrying too many things. But I uh, just wanted to make sure that I had the essentials. So I'll start off with uh, one of my bag that will contain most of the uh, body products and things like that. So this is a bag that I got from Clinique. I only really use free makeup bags when you buy, you know, makeup at the counters and stuff. Um, I don't know. I just don't see a reason to have to spend money on makeup bags when I can just get them for free anyway. And they work out. They're strong. They're sturdy. They're cute, you know. So they work out. So I bring cotton pads. I'm just bringing just a little tube that I had left over. These are the ones from Costco, which are hypoallergenic, um, lint-free, and super absorbent. These work really well um, so far with like taking nail polish off too. I think when I was watching Pink So Fox Foxy on YouTube, she said that uh, she uses these to like take off uh, nail polish glitter, which uh, I haven't tried yet, but that was like I think the reason why I bought it so I could take off uh, glitter nail polishes, and they work well for the face. Um, pack of tissues, and then my travel brush, which actually is pretty huge still. Um, it's like the Earth Therapeutics one. I just got it at TJ Maxx for a few dollars. Um, uh, let's see here. I will bring my BB Bumble and Bumble Brilliantine, which I love. It smells like a spa. Um, that's where I bought it when I was like going for a spa treatment, and it just reminds me of the spa whenever I smell it. It just smells amazing, and it just gives your hair a really sleek look, so I'm just trying to use that up, too. Um, I just bring a thing of soap right here. I don't usually bring shower gels and the loofah um, if it's a short trip. Razor. Um, just a small thing of body cream. It's the Yes You Care. It's super rich body cream. Uh, really like it, not too crazy about the smell, but it's super smooth and super moisturizing. So I think I can get over the smell, which is, it's faint, but it's just not, um, I don't know, it smells like cold cream to me. I'm not a big fan of the cold cream smell. Okay, lid fell. Um, I'll get that later. Um, then I also got, or I'm taking with me, the Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel Towelettes. Um, I actually got these um, in a box that was free from the Influencer Vox box, um, the sugar and spice one, and um, I really like these, it's just that I tend to forget about them because I throw them into my purse and my gym bag and sometimes I just don't need them. So I thought, why not, let's use these, they're really nice, it's oil controlling with witch hazel, um, and that'll just use to take my makeup off. And then I also threw this one in. It's the seventh generation Mandarin refreshing facial cleansing cloths. Uh, there's just one, but I got this in a conscious box um, a while ago, so I thought that I'd use that to take makeup off. Um, I'm bringing a sample of the Prime Time Bare Minerals um, Foundation Primer just to use that up. Um, some shampoo samples. Uh, this is a great way for me to use up sh uh, samples, really. So the Frederick Fakai Glossing Shampoo Conditioner Shampoo. Fakai's Shea Butter Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner right there. And what is this? Uh, clear Scalp Hair Therapy Total Care um, Shampoo and Conditioner right there. And always bring floss. This is the super floss. I have like a retainer on the bottom of my teeth, so this kind of gets there. Love floss. Flossing is good. My dentist once told me that if you floss regularly, you'll like gain three years of your life. I mean, who doesn't want that? Um, a pack of wet wipes just in case. Um, and then I bring the Clinique 7 Day Scrub. I love this thing. It is super exfoliating. It's really gentle on your skin. There's no fragrance to it. I love that scrub. Um, really random order here that I'm pulling everything out. Colgate's Total Toothpaste, just a little thing of it. Um, I don't have the toothbrush in here just yet, so. Um, I always bring just a small pair of these little scissors. Um, you never know when you need these. It's just a good thing to have. Um, my Bioderma 
Sebium H2O. I use this as the toner. Um, the sad thing is, is I got this in London and I thought, oh, maybe I can reuse the bottle. Nope, it doesn't twist off. Um, really sad. Um, but I really like the Bioderma. It seems to be a popular thing that everybody uses. And, um, but it's super expensive to buy. If you look on Amazon, it's like $30 or something for like a big bottle. Um, right now can't justify making that purchase, um, but maybe one day. Um, and then I have a Clinique Little Facial, um, it's for oily skin formula cleanser, and then this is the moisturizing gel. And what do I have? Josie Marin's um, Argan Oil Hair Serum, which I really like. Oh, I think it's leaking. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to fix that. Um, this I really like. It came in a kit. It really uh, smooths out your hair and frizz. Super easy to travel with because it's got the pump and it's in a little jar, uh, bottle like this. And then this also came in that Josie Marin kit that I got um, back in Christmas, I think. Argon Daily Moisturizer. It's broad spectrum uh, SPF 40, which I really like. And I think it smells citrusy. Yeah, it smells kind of citrusy, like citrus candy from Halloween. I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. Um, but really like this. Um, great for travel. And that's it for that bag right there. So I'm going to throw that aside and then on to the makeup bag. Um, does it seem like I'm traveling a lot for three days? I just like to pack more than I need sometimes just in case. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's a lot now that I have it spread out on my table. So I have my eyelash curler from e.l.f. It's only a dollar and it, it works well. I like it. Um, and then, oh, this should actually be in that bag. This is the First Aid Beauty Smooth Shave Cream for Fab Legs. Um, and it smells like coconut. This is really nice. I actually brought a bottle with this uh, on my honeymoon um, a while ago. And this lasted me forever. It's super smooth, super moisturizing. Really like it. Um, and then we got the, or I got the Glam RX like palette um, in an Ipsy bag. And then it came with, these two eyeshadows at first, these two eyeshadows, and then the concealer came in the um, last Ipsy bag. And then I popped in my Benefit uh, Lemonade and the Boing, I think, 2 Medium Concealer. Um, it came in like a palette and I just popped those out of the, the paper thing, just put it in here for easier travel. So that works out. Um, I'm bringing my Mighty Nail and Cuticle Serum from Julep right there. It's nice. It's like a brush like that, and you just like click it to put on your nails. And then I'm bringing my Eco Tools Travel Kabuki brush right there. Super soft. I haven't used this because I just got it in the mail a week ago. And then I'm bringing my uh, NYX HD Photogenic Concealer in Lavender. Is it Lavender? Yes, Lavender. It actually helps reduce redness or counters it. So if you have like breakout like I do right here, um, it takes away the redness and then you can put your regular concealer over that, which is really nice. I like it so far. Um, I'm bringing my NARS Orgasm um, blush right there, trying to use that up. Uh, Maybelline's Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. Really liking that. That I can just slip over my eyelid real quick and then just go out. Oh, this is the Rimmel formula or foundation that I was talking about that I didn't bring down for my haul in my last video. Um, I think I finally found a foundation that matches my skin tone, so my neck and my face aren't this, you know, different colors. Um, this is in Light Nude 102, right there. I'm bringing that, my organic wear, 100% natural physician's formula mascara. These actually came in a trio of julep nail polishes for the Maze Julep Box Great Gatsby theme. And this one is in T for Two, which is this nice pinky nude color. These are so sheer, like you have to put on like 50 layers to get any sort of color. It's same for the red too. It's crazy. Lady in red. That's what that looks like. They're really cute. They're, t you know, mini lipsticks, so they're nice. And they came free with a box. Um, it's just that they are so sheer. They just take forever to get any kind of color on your lips. Um, uh, thing of tweezers. 
my little uh, eyeshadow primer potion from Urban Decay, and then just some brushes. I don't have travel size brushes that re I really like at the moment, so these are the Equal Tools ones. So powder brush, um, Elisa Silverstone's uh, blush brush, and the Elisa Silverstone's little mini concealer brush um, or slash foundation brush. And then I also got, oh, I should have put this in my haul, all the new eco brushes that I bought. This is uh, the eye, I don't know what it was called. It was like the something something eye collections um, brush set. So it comes with all of these right here. And then they come in a little pouch like this. So I thought that was really cute. So um, I think that's it for what I'm bringing. Um, oh, and then lip products, I guess. Um, my L'Oreal's Lip Stain Rose On and On, which I love. And then I'm just bringing an e.l.f. lip gloss. I'm really getting into lip glosses lately. Um, this is in, I think, Lemonade. Pink Lemonade, which I saw Inspired Dom 824. She said she really liked it, and that's why I picked it up. And it was only a dollar. Um, it smells like vanilla, which kind of bothers me. I usually don't like my lip products smelling like anything, but this one's a really nice sheer pink color. And then for perfume, I'm bringing my little Flow um, atomizer, um, and it's currently got, uh, what has it got? Uh, Coco Chanel's Mademoiselle. Um, so that's what I'm bringing. And so I think that's it. Um, leave me a response below with things that you'd bring on a short or long weekend. Um, I'd like to see what people bring um, as it's getting warmer. It's kind of in that transitional season. It could be cold, it could be hot, and your makeup changes. So um, subscribe if you like this video. Like the video if you enjoy watching what's in my bag or travel makeup bag videos. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.